Welcome back, gamers. It's Roll Easy here. I hope everyone's having a great Sunday so far. It's a beautiful Sunday right here where I am. But yeah, today I'm going to show you guys how to make three modded outfits, all right? I'm going to put in the title DM outfits or maybe DM glitch or something like that because people know that the, this is how the legit modded outfits, where they came from, is from the DM glitch, the director mode glitch. We can also use them right here using or get them using the SP to MP glitch. But I'm going to show you guys how to make three outfits right here. It's awesome. Road to 1,000 subscribers. We're almost there. We need 20 more, guys. If I get 20 more subscribers by today, I'll make a shout-out Sunday video today, along with maybe a fun, neat glitch to add along with it. I haven't done that in a little while, but I definitely will if we reach 1K by the end of the day today, all right? So let's push for that. But without further ado, let's get started into the first part of the video. So the first outfit that we're going to be making right here, go ahead and go to your shoes, boots, and pick the Ash Winter Boots. This is gonna give us the checkerboard uh, shoes right here. So once you've got the Ash Winter Boots, and remember these components, you can move them all around and stuff, but yeah, go ahead and go to the pants. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to leather pants, and you're gonna be picking the Mocha Ribbed. All right, so here we go. You see leather pants, Mocha Ribbed. So I just wanna show you guys exactly where they are, so, so there's no confusion, you know, and it doesn't take you a while to find them. Then go to tops, you're gonna be going to polo shirts, and uh, you're gonna be picking up this Navy Liberty Polo shirt. All right, so once I get to it right over here, polo shirts, Navy Liberty Polo. All right, go ahead and slap that on. All right, and now we're gonna be working on the accessories. So once we get over, and you can do this in any clothing store, all these, they got the same stuff, so don't worry about it. Uh, once we're at the accessories, you're gonna go ahead and go to gloves. And once we're at gloves, go ahead and pick the black leather gloves. All right, put them on. Just rock the black leather gloves, all right? Now, go ahead and uh, right here, I was actually looking for the uh, for the glasses. I was, I really, really thought that they were here for some reason. Not sure why, but yeah. The glasses are not here in the accessories part. You actually do have to go over to the little glasses rack that's right over here by the, uh, by the, uh, the counter. So I realized right about now, there we go. Glasses, go to casual glasses and the copper marbles. That's gonna give you the uh those checkerboard you know glasses right there okay so i'm going to show you now how to get the whole mask set up right here so when you uh, right now i have none of the mask setups at all in my head no headgear so go ahead and go to the uh balaclavas and you're going to pick the uh the green one so once you're at this section balaclavas go ahead and get the green one it's like way way down the list i think it's like in the 60s or something like that i should have just gone up instead of down but uh, yeah, the green knit balaclava is the one that you want. There it is right there. So number 56 on the list. So go ahead and put that on, and you're gonna wanna save the outfit right now. So you see how I'm doing it? I'm saving that outfit. If you wanted to save it in the clothing store as you're going along, go ahead. But yeah, so I'm saving the outfit. And uh, yeah, so then once you go to the, uh, the little hat section, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna pick up the biker helmet. Uh, it's called Faggio Mod, all right? So go to biker helmets, and then go to Faggio Mod, all right? So right about there, that's the one you want to get. So you would pick it, it would it would actually equip right there when you got it, but it's okay, just switch to your outfit and then have the base outfit just with the mask saved. We're gonna go ahead and do the telescope glitch now. All right, no glasses, no helmet on, you just want the mask. So smash right on the D-pad as you're running by the helmet, pull away, open up your interaction menu. There we go, we're in the glitch. Go to style, accessories. Now you're gonna go ahead and go to uh, helmets. Put the Faggio Mod helmet on, and remember the glasses we picked up, the copper marbles, back out of the interaction menu and walk away. And look, the mask and everything will glitch on together. That's what you want. You can either be on an oppressor right here or a motorcycle, doesn't or, uh, or a car, it doesn't matter. But now you're gonna go ahead and save the outfit. All right, and boom, we have got the outfit saved. Now, if you want the duffel bag, I'll leave a link in the description how to get the duffel bag, how to transfer it to outfits and everything, okay? So look in the description as well as the pinned comment, all right? And how to hit the whole glitch. Everything is going to be in the pinned comment, so check it, all right? So outfit two. We're going to go ahead and go to boots, and we're going to pick the same ones, the Ash Winter boots, all right? This is the second outfit we're working on, guys. I want to roll through this, and I want this video to be 30 minutes long, all right? So now this is the outfit two, Ash Winter boots. Make sure you pick those up. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to the pants section and go ahead and go to the leather pants once again. And the leather pants, we're gonna be picking up the red ribbed, as you can see we're wearing right now. So red ribbed number 11 right there on that list. So once you've got the red ribbed leather pants, and now we're gonna go ahead and go to the top section. And now once we're at the top section, we're gonna pick the, uh, right here I do believe I have a little bit of trouble finding exactly which one we needed. 
But uh, yeah, the it's the tucked T-shirts. It's actually called the uh, the Black Classic. Okay, for some reason, when you click on these, it like doesn't show that you're wearing it. You know, it's uh, I, I don't know every other outfit or every other clothing you know thing. It goes straight to like what you were wearing. But on these, when I go to click on it, it doesn't really show it. So we're gonna be going to tucked T-shirts right here. There we go. Tucked T-shirt, Black Classic. There we go. So make sure you put that on. Tucked T-shirt, Black Classic. Now, once we get over to the uh, to the jackets section, so go ahead and you, you stay in the tops, go to leather jackets, and then you're gonna get the black cropped biker, all right? So black cropped biker under leather jackets. All right, and then you can save the outfit right here if you want, you know, it's up to you. Uh, you know, I already showed you how to do the first outfit. These, This outfit's kind of similar, it has the duffel bag, has everything on it. Go ahead and go to accessories. You're going to be getting a different type of gloves, though. These gloves, you're going to be getting the black driving gloves, all right? This is for the uh, the trash man outfit, okay? So the trash man outfit is really sought after. A lot of people are looking for it. Now, I learned my lesson from the last time. Go to casual glasses in the glasses section, and you're going to pick up the, uh, the copper marbles, all right? So now, imagine we don't have anything on the mask, you know, which is what you would be up to, and you'd go ahead and you'd pick up the clown mask uh, called Orange Clown right there. And then you're gonna pick up that hat that says the uh, it's the fruit hat right there. So go to caps forward and then the fruit hat. And this is where you would only have the mask saved. So make sure you save the outfit with the mask, and you would go do the telescope glitch, and you would glitch the uh, the hat and the glasses onto the mask. Okay, that's where we're at now. And then go ahead and put the duffel bag on. Now we're working on the third outfit. This is what most people are looking after: is the juggernaut outfit. I wanted I wanted people to have the jug outfit. Okay, so. Go ahead and go to shoes. This is the third outfit. So go to shoes. You're going to be headed to high heels and pick the beige patent heels. All right. So beige patent heels under high heels. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the pants section. Now, once we're at the pants section, and remember, this is on our female character, on our second character, so we can transfer the outfits over to our male character in case some of you guys weren't sure. All right. So now we're going to go to leather pants, go to the black ribbed pants. All right. And put those black ribbed leather pants on. Is, all these outfits include leather pants, but <laughs> that's how you get the cool stuff, all right? All right, so now that we're in the top section, this is where these, these are the two most important components on this outfit to really get the juggernaut thing to work. So you need the patched darted vest, which is under biker cuts, but before that, you want to put on the tucked t shirt called the white rolled t. For some reason, when I go to tuck t shirts, it doesn't just say, oh, you have a white rolled t uh, equipped. It just it's weird for some reason it does not just let you know that but this is the one number five right there the white rolled T is the one that you actually want to put under your patched darted vest okay so now that you have the uh, the white rolled T under the patch darted or just by itself actually in your case go ahead and stay in the top section and you're gonna be going to biker cuts and then yeah at biker cuts uh, I didn't show it there but yeah it's called the uh, the patch darted vest that's what you're gonna be picking up all right so now that we got that Go ahead and go to the accessories, and you're going to be picking up the black woolen gloves. All right, so go to gloves. Black woolen gloves are the ones that you do want. And remember, in the glasses section, we're picking up the same ones. You want the cop a copper marble glasses. Under casual glasses, pick the copper marbles, all right? Those are the ones that you want to pick up when it comes to the glasses section. Uh, you can go ahead and save the outfit if you want. This is what we do in the mask section. So remember, this is it. pretend like as if I don't have anything on my headgear whatsoever. Get the mask by going down to intimidation and you're gonna get the yellow robo mask, number 26 on the list, one of the new ones. Now when you have the mask by itself, go ahead and save it right there. Just so you have that outfit good, only the mask on your head. And then go ahead to the caps forward and pick the uh, fruit cap once again. And yeah, go ahead and equip your regular outfit and then go ahead and do the telescope glitch like I showed in the beginning of the video and glitch everything on together and then save it. Now, I'm going to show you how to do the money glitch also at the same time. So make sure on your female character or in your second character that we're working on, you have those three apartments in slots four, five, and six, the most expensive Eclipse Tower penthouse suites. Okay, those are the ones that you want in slots four, five, and six because while you make modded outfits, you can actually get as well the uh, the the money glitch and hit the money glitch. So this is what you want to do. Once you're done with that, go to swap character. I'm fast forwarding here and go back to your male character on your main account. All right, your main character, your first character that you use, the one you want the modded outfits on, the one you want the money on. All right, this is how it works. So now on this character, make sure that you also have the three cheapest apartments in slots four, five, and six. So check it out. I have the three cheapest right there. Super cheap right there. That's what you want. When we do the glitch, 
everything is going to transfer over from the female character. The glitch is down in the uh, the pinned comment and the description, guys. I'm not going to show the glitch once again. This video would be 30 minutes long if I showed that entire glitch. So make sure that you check the pinned comment. I will have everything you need right there to hit the glitch. Now, at this point, this is once we've done the glitch already. We've quit the game. We've done all that bullshit. And now we're back in story mode. And I've gone ahead and I've actually, uh, oh, and by the way, once you're done with your male character and you bought those, uh, you know, you bought the apartments and you're ready to do the glitch, quit your game, start back up, load into story and do the glitch from there. That's how you hit the glitch successfully every time. But now we're already loading back after we've done the glitch. We're loading back into our online character and check it out. Go ahead and switch over to your outfit slots where you put them. Doesn't matter which outfit slots, you know, you can put them wherever. Remember, in this glitch, you lose every other one of your outfits. That's the thing. Everything transfers over from your female with this glitch, just so you guys know. And look at that. That was outfit two we were working on. Pretty cool green Tron, you know, football jersey with checkerboard stuff on it, invisible forearms. Here's the trash man outfit that a lot of people really love with the orange Tron outfit, you know, all mixed together with the duffel bag. And here we go. Last but not least, the Juggernaut outfit. Yellow Tron, yellow robo mask, you know, checkerboard sandals on or slides with a backwards hat. That is the one that everybody has been wanting, man. The, the Juggernaut outfit is really sought after and that's what it is. And now, remember we set up the apartments already. The apartments are already set up, so now we got our modded outfits on our male character. And go ahead and go to your apartments, or you know, the Dynasty 8, and you're gonna buy the three cheapest properties and go ahead and do the money glitch. You see right here, I slowed it down. You have the cheap names right there, what we had before, but the prices from your second character transferred over. Those were the penthouse suites we bought on her, uh, on the girl character. So now buy three cheap apartments over those. And look at that, you get money. If you look at the top right, 500, over 500 grand the first time, 400 grand this time, and over another 400 grand this time, that's about $1.5 million you can make every time you mod outfits. Now, word of warning. Remember, all your male outfits will, other ones that you've made will go away because everything that you've trans, everything, everything that's on your female account will transfer over to your male character, okay? So you really have to know that. That is when it comes to making modded outfits like this, you will lose any other outfits that you have, okay? But you get really dope ass outfits. All my outfits are modded on my character because I'm always doing a glitch like this. So I want to just have modded outfits. That's just how I work, all right? But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Quick reminder, make sure we get to 1,000 subscribers today. If we do, you know, go tell your mom to subscribe. Go tell your friends. Go tell your brothers and sisters, aunts, nieces, nephews, everybody. Go tell them to subscribe so that we can make a shout-out Sunday video today. Let's reach 1,000 subscribers. This is two months since I've made my last and my first video. It's freaking awesome. What a great ride it's been. And I wanted to give you guys some awesome outfits to celebrate that, all right? But uh, yeah, my name is Roll Easy. Hope you guys enjoyed something. Make sure to like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you're new by hitting the big red button. And turn on the post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody. Have a good Sunday.